Elvin's B&B is the number one destination for a relaxing vacation stay. Located in the beautiful Gambia, West Africa, Elvin's B&B is located minutes away from the tourist attractions and beautiful beaches. Elvin's B&B features an ensuite with private bathrooms, single rooms, and meal plans to make your stay more affordable. Enjoy business-grade internet speed with air conditioners and single rooms stay-in-house dining. Book your stay with Elvin B&B by clicking on the link in the description. We are looking forward to serving you. Elvin's B&B. Elvin's B&B. Hey back family, we're making it here in C4 and uh, Sweet Juice and Mama got on me about missing the footage, but I'm getting the footage now. D today is the vote day. They're voting in a new president uh, that'll lead the country for the next uh, five years. So where we're at right now in C4 is called uh, Darbo Land, because Darbo represents the color of yellow and you see from the flagpoles up there, you see yellow. Everywhere you look, you see yellow. Doors being painted yellow. People wearing the color yellow. Everything. Now, as we left Bigelow or the turntable, see down here, this is all you see. Gunjur, Darbo, Darbo uh, land. Boo, boo, boo. So anyway, you see all the yellow guys? And Sweet Juicy Mama and I was just asking each other, What's the main colors that we're seeing during this election? Uh, the present president and Darbo. What's up, sweet mom? Want Only if you do, sweet mom. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna pass to them. Yep. We're gonna pass on our little breakfast snack today because sweet juicy mama bought some nasty, I mean bought some food from the turntable and uh, got and, home. And, and, He's forgetting that he's eating it all. Sweet mama, so but you bought it now. Am I, am I going to waste that? Am yeah. I going to waste money? If it's not good, I, I work too hard for my money, sweet mama, to just yeah, get the food and waste it. it. No, sweet mama, but you bought it, though. You're like, mm, yeah. I'm going to get some of this. I want some of this. I want some of that. What's them right there? What's in that bag? Oh, these yeah, are crab legs. Okay, give me some good. of them. What's in that other bag? This song. Give me some of that, too. Then she get a little happy butt home and say, oh, this don't taste good. Rick, you won't eat it like I'm a garbage disposal. But it's all good though, it's all good. All right, family, we about to head on down here to bag and drop off some supplies. Then, you know, uh, uh, see what it do. Bye. Oh, that's all. Right. Uh, oh, name? yeah, yeah, so yeah, cool. All right, okay, I'll see you now. All right, thanks, my daughter. Yeah. Dropping somebody off here, guys. We're on our way out of C4, and there's at the police station. Yeah. It's Bo Jane. I just mm -hmm. wanted to see him turn around. Yeah, everything has slowed down because. Of, way. Oh, that's him. Yeah. He's busy. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Ooh, that line is long. Oh, and not it's one so line. Good. Like 10 in there. Mm -hmm. oh, but, guys, just so you know now, for some reason or another, everything shuts down in the Gambia. Just about. <laughs> yeah, building projects, shops, you know, uh, pretty much everything. And, and I thought this was strange too to have an election on a Saturday. Yeah. You know, in America's what? On a Monday in, or something? In America's is Tuesday, I think. Yeah. On a Tuesday? Well, I've always went in there on a Tuesday, so I don't know. If they change, I don't know. It's all good. But anyway, we're going to show you uh, various little spots where there are uh, polling sites for uh, your information, all right? Till later. Right, family, we coming up on the most populated voting booth in the Gambia. I don't know if it's the most popular booth in the Gambia, guys. I just made that up. But if it is, this is what it looked like right here. Can you guys see that? 
when we came through here earlier today, it was twice this size. Twice this size. I wonder who the Gambians are gonna vote for this year. Sweet mama, you got any, uh, uh, you mean you are you asking me do I care? You got any predict whoa. <laughs> okay. I was like, do you got any predictions who gonna win? I've narrowed no, it down to two I candidates. I, yeah, same here. I, maybe Barrow State or Darbo. That's Darbo, who I say. only those two. That right. I don't know if they're gonna be the president. Right. That's what I got in my mind. Right. Well guys, you know now, as we always say, we don't do politics, we do economics. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to pay to get things done, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Um, and the roads are empty, empty, empty. Right. The roads are empty, empty. Not many on the shop. I mean, opened up. Mm -hmm. Very few shops and very few street vendors or street workers. Yeah. I don't know about street workers. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Cows are still out in full force. Chickens, goats, lambs. How about pigs, sweet mom? You seen any pigs out there? I haven't seen any cops around. Yeah, that's true, sweet <laughs> <laughs> No, I haven't seen any pigs. Yeah, that's true, sweet mom. Well, well even your dinner is, I mean, your My dinner? Is where you get your lunch is not over. Right. Yeah, guys, see how the roads look really scarce. But it's all good now, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's out shop or selling it, the vendors. Nope. I don't see too many vendors or shops. You think he will open? Oh, well, you can go by there if you want to go there. Uh, only if you want some of your world famous apple juice. You want to pass up? I said they close. I bet you the prize they're open. We're going to see then, sweet mama. My prize, not for you now. What the? Get out of here then. You lost, sweet mama. So what's up? You what's didn't up? Bet. You I did say I bet. Nope. Oh you my God! You got Family, let me know what y'all so. think of the conversation. Nah, I did you say did not bet. bet. You just waited till you whatever. got up here and said, "Oh, I will." I, whatever. So they weren't open either. Whatever. So nothing's open, really. No, the mosque was open. Yeah, that's always open, eh? Oh, okay then. Well, nothing's really open. Yeah. All right, guys. We're trying to find somewhere to. Get some chow and stuff, cause sweet juice mama don't want to cook. So I'm going home. I guess. Oh, she said she's going home. So talk to you guys on the flip end. Get my special. That's all. Bye. Grand rising back family. Starting off another day here in the Gambia. We're on our way to uh, Bag, and uh, the streets are still kind of scarce you know we understood uh, the last couple of days because of the election but the election is over with and the incumbent president has won again so um, there'll be five more years of Adam Abara as president of the Gambia now what's particularly alarming is we just passed the Sakuta Junction and they had police out there in riot gear. I don't know if this is an extra precaution or what. Because this runner up, uh, Adam Abara, you know, uh, came in a, a second. So I don't know if they're rejecting the election or whatever the case may be. But uh, you know how bad rolls. We don't do politics, we do economics. I just wanted to share that with you in the event that some of y'all are coming over here and you know we'll keep you abreast of how that turns out but it was pretty alarming to see um, police out there in riot gear at the Sakuta Junction so until later guys talk to you soon bye oh I'm back guys uh, still having a problem with uh, the pickup truck the Sweet Juicy Mama's uh, SUV is getting us safely out there and back, even though it's having problems too. So today we're going to find out who all shows up to work after the election. The gardeners are supposed to be there, so we start back planting crops. The guys are supposed to be starting the roof. 
of the 4,000 square foot house. So we'll be resuming those videos for those of y'all that are on Patreon and watching that develop. We're having more blocks built as well as uh, the security fence, you know, finishing that up. So we'll see what unfolds as we get out here to bag. And Sweet Juice and Mama's driving right now. I think she's mad at me and stuff. Babe, you want to say something to somebody? Yep, she's mad, guys. Look at the lips all poked out and stuff. The dimples hid and stuff. Yeah, she mad at me. I don't even know why she mad at me. I ain't even do nothing. Maybe that's why she mad, because I ain't do nothing. But it's all good, though. Look at her little fine self. Focusing on driving and stuff. All right, then. Just want to get her back because, you know, she like recording me when I'm a little perturbed. But it's all good. I still love you, sweet juicy mom. <clears throat> <clears throat> yep. She normally say, uh, you know, I love you back. But I guess today it's one of those uh, thin line between love and hate days. But it's all good. Bye. Well, family, we finally arrived at the land, and um, our gardeners uh, didn't show today. I don't know if it's because of the election and the jubilation, all the celebration after the uh, president won a new five years. They didn't show up, but today we had a bunch of youth. Uh, that are out here um, cutting the grass. Uh, the way it was explained to us, that is a youth football team. And they were looking for some work to do so it could support them in their pursuits of playing soccer over here in the Gambia, playing in different leagues and having enough uh, income for transportation, uniforms, and things of that sort. So they're out there cutting the grass. And Sunshine is uh, still building the uh, chicken house right here. We got uh, one side up. And we got, brought some more blocks over here. You saw that from a previous video. And that is a, another crew over there. They're not the same crew. That's a different crew over there cutting the grass over there. Now, one side... I'm fortunate enough to get my money right and hopefully uh, you know a couple of things kick in motion on our part in the US we can get that tractor with a bush hog and a few other attachments so we can sort of uh, wipe out that labor cutting the grass we can move those guys from cutting the grass to doing something different doing something different. I'm going to go over there and talk to them too because after they finish with this here, uh, if they're still available, I'd like to give them some other uh, activities to do to generate more income to help them uh, with their sports endeavors, you know, playing uh, soccer. All right. Till later, guys. Oh, and the carpenters who are supposed to be building the fence, they didn't show up today so guys uh, this is a a pattern on the African continent when you contract out work will the people show up I mean even if they're just regular employees or work associates will they show up and the answer to that question is more likely than not uh, there's going to be some days where they're not going to show up so you just kind of got to deal with it and keep going so all right i see sweet juicy mama over there everything is my fault as far as she concerned so anyway One of them days, guys. One of these days, we can't 
can't start the generator because we let the fuel run out. You know, you come out here and you expect stuff to be working clockwork because you kind of put out some instructions, but then when you get out here, it's a whole nother animal. That's why we can't wait till we can move into that house back there. We'll be in a better position to coordinate, supervise, and make sure stuff happens. As opposed to coming in here, you know, about 45 minutes away and stuff. So, got a plan for it, just got to kick it in motion. So, that's it for now. Bye.